You know what's weird? When a screen protector company makes a 2.1 version of their product. And when that happens, well, it's double screen protector time. Now, overall, I'm really impressed with the newest version of the Paperlike screen protector. And there's really two things that stood out for me. Next few minutes, I'm going to review and compare the image quality protection and pen feel of the Paperlike 2.1 versus the 2.0 version. And this 2.0 version is the 2022 version, not the 2020 version that I reviewed a few years ago. Those are different as well. Why? Now to get everything set up, I took one screen protector, cut it in half and put it on my iPad and well, did the same thing for the other one. Now, as a side note, if you're going to be doing this, use scissors, not a box knife because the cut from the box knife resulted in a weird raised edge. Also, if you are like me and you think that the iPad screen is made out of glass, well, you're going to be sorely disappointed when your box knife also scratches your screen. I had no idea that was going to happen. Now when it comes to image quality, the first thing I noticed was a difference in color. The older version looked cooler, whereas the 2.1 version looked quite a bit warmer. Now I personally prefer cooler looking screens, but you know, kind of each to their own. And when it comes to clarity, from normal distances, letters didn't really look that different, but once you get up close, you can definitely see that the 2.1 side is a lot fuzzier. The letters definitely weren't as crisp as the 2.0 version. Now this difference only occurred with text as it was almost impossible to spot the differences with images. Right, Monty? The only difference I noticed was the diffusion of the 2.1. It is significantly better than the diffusion on the older 2.0. Kudos, Paperlike. Now my personal preference is to have less diffusion on my screen because I'd rather deal with a single dot of light on my screen instead of a scattering of light on my screen. But how about you guys? I feel like the diffusion just gets really distracting if you've got a lot of lights in wherever you're sitting. Now I'll be honest with you guys, these differences are kind of non-issues because they're very obvious when I put them side by side, but when you've only got one screen protector on and not two, you won't notice the differences in terms of color and clarity. The one thing you will notice with the Paperlike 2.1 is the lack of diffraction. The pixelization of the screen with the newest version is barely noticeable, whereas in the 2.0 one is actually quite noticeable, even when viewing them by themselves. And that's just incredible from my perspective because that just significantly reduces the eye strain that I have when I'm staring at my iPad for long periods of time. All right, Monty, what's next? Protection. Now there's two types, scratch and impact. And when it comes to scratch, both screen protectors will scratch around three on the most scales. So basically dust is gonna scratch your screen. If you're not using a case for the iPad and you're just basically putting your iPad into your backpack like a book, the screen protector is gonna get ugly really fast. In fact, over time, you may notice that your stylus will leave marks on the screen protector, which is kind of annoying. So it's a good thing that there's two. Now to figure out impact protection, I took three screen protectors and layered one with the newest paper like version, one with the older version, and I used the third one as control. Then I took my trusty screen protector testing unit and poked a bunch of holes in them. In general, the results were not what I expected. Now, unlike glass, if you're dropping on a sharp object, the screen protector isn't going to do much because it's actually going to go through the screen protector. That's what I discovered with my screen testing unit. When it comes to impact, the baseline, the bare screen protector, took a, an on average 260 newtons of force to break. The 2.0 version took about 258 newtons. So statistically, I don't think there's a difference between bare glass and the 2.0 version, but the 2.1 version took 200 177 newtons to break on average. So this newer version is mildly tougher, which is a great thing. Kudos paper like. Hey Monty, how much money do we take from these guys? Bagel. And that's the only way to do a review from our perspective anyways. So subscribe. So what was my biggest complaint from my paper like review from a few years ago? It was that writing with the Apple pencil didn't feel like I was writing on paper. This newest iteration is a marked improvement, but it's it's a little confusing. Let me explain. When using just my fingers, the older screen protector feels much rougher than the newer version. The 2.1 version actually feels very smooth. And this was my initial reaction. Because up until a few months ago, matte screen protectors, the rougher they were, the better it was. When it came to using a stylus, I tested both screen protectors with my Apple Pencil 2 as well as my go-to non-Apple stylus, the Adonit Neo Pro, and the feel of the screen protector is completely opposite. The stylus is tracked much better on Paperlike's newest screen protector than the older version, despite feeling smoother. In fact, it feels really close to putting pen to paper, and I honestly think it tracks better than my go-to matte screen protector from Bellamont. Now it's odd, it feels smoother with my fingers, but rougher with the stylus. Stylus, and that's actually a really good thing because with matte screen protectors when you're using just your finger I find my fingers getting really tired because like instead of swiping it feels like my fingers are dragging across the matte screen protector and over time my knuckles on my fingers get really tired but because the 2.1 version is smoother you get less finger fatigue but at the same time you get better stylus performance kind of black magic is this paper like so at the end of the day you don't get that trade-off with the paper like 2.1 you get the best of both worlds, which is just so great. I've been reviewing accessories for almost 10 years now and it's far and few between where I get to actually say, this is a new favorite of mine. This is one of my newest top recommendations for iPads. So cool. 
So that's all I got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that every single time I come up with a weird way to test screen protectors or any products, you get notified. And you get to see Monty on the internet.